Hello grade 9! So we are now in lesson 2.2c. Solving quadratic equations by using AC method. So AC method is used when A is greater than 1. For you to know this method, please watch this video. Solving quadratic equations by factoring using AC method. So saan ba ginagamit ang AC method? As you can see, so, our standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c equal 0. So, ac method is used when a is greater than 1. So, when a is greater than 1, we use the ac method of factoring. For example, we have here 2x squared plus 7x plus 6 is equal to 0. As you can see, our a is equal to 2. So, in our previous example, we only have a is equal to 1. So, how to do the AC method? So, first, we are going to get the coefficients a, b, and C. So, our A here, A is equal to 2, B is equal to 7, and C is equal to 6. Paano ba ginagawa ang AC method? So, una, let us multiply A times C. Then, kukuha din natin ang factors, pag a din, at ang sagot naman ay B. So, sa ating example, ang ating A ay 2 times ang ating C ay 6. So, 2 times 6 is 12. Then, kukuha tayo ng factors ng 12 na kapag pinag-plus, ang sagot ay 7. So, ano-ano yung factors ng 12? So, we have 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. Then, i-add natin. We will add. So, 1 plus 12 is 13. 2 plus 6 is 8. Then, 3 plus 4 is 7. So, alin ang factors na ating gagamitin? So, itong 3 at 4. So, lalagyan natin dito is 3 at 4. Okay. Now, meron na tayong 3 Tsaka 4. Okay. So, uh, i-rewrite -re naman natin yung ating given equation. 2x squared plus 7x plus 6 equals 0. Then, kopya ang quadratic term. 2x squared plus okay, yung 7x pag natin ng 3 at saka 4. 3 plus 4. So, 3 plus 4. So, 3x, 4x. Then, plus 6 equals 0. So, how many terms na meron tayo? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Ngayon, ay igugroup natin siya. So, igugroup natin. Group group. So, ano ang common monomial sa ating term? So, we have x. So, x times remaining is 2x plus 3. So, distributive, you will get the same answer. Then, plus. Oh, ano ang common sa 4x at saka sa 6? 2. Hmm. 
So, dinivide natin. 4 divided by 2 is 2. X plus 6 divided by 2 is 3 equals 0. So, ano ngayon ang inyong napansin sa ating ginawa? So, meron tayong common term which is 2x plus 3. So, pag labas natin siya, 2x plus 3. Then, we have the remaining x plus 2 equal 0. Then, zero product property, 2x plus 3 equal 0. And x plus 2 equal 0. Then, let us solve for x. 2x plus 3 equals 0. x plus 2 equals 0. The additive inverse of positive 3 is negative 3. So, 2x plus 3 minus 3 equals 0 minus 3. Then, cancel. So, we have 2x equals negative 3. Then, division property, kung anong kasama ng variable siyang i-divide, cancel. x equals negative 3 over 2 as your x sub 1. Then, for our x sub 2, so positive 2, additive inverse is negative 2. So, x plus 2 minus 2 equals 0 minus 2. So, cancel. 2 minus 2 is 0. X equals 0 minus 2 is negative 2 for your X sub 2. Checking. If X equals negative 3 over 2 and if X equals negative 2. So, the original formula, 2X squared plus 7X plus 6 equals 0. So, X will be replaced by negative 3 halves. So, 2 times negative 3 over 2 squared plus 7 times negative 3 over 2 plus 6 equals 0. Then, square. So, we have 2 negative times negative. That is positive. So, this is 9. So, so 3 times 3, 9. 2 times 2, 4. So, positive times negative is negative. 7 times 3 is 21 over 2. Plus 6 equals 0. Then, 2 times 9, that is 18. Over 4. Minus 21 over 2. Plus 6 equals 0. Then, let us multiply both sides by 4 to cancel the denominator. So, 4 times 18 divided by 4 cancel. So, this is 18 minus 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 21 that is 42 plus 4 times 6, that is 24, equals 0. 18 minus 42, that is 24, negative, plus 24, equals 0. So, 0 equals 0. Then, if x equals negative 2, so we have 2, x squared, plus 7x plus 6 equals 0. 2 times negative 2 squared plus 7 times negative 2 plus 6 equals 0. 2, negative 2 times negative 2, that is positive 4. Positive times negative, that is negative. 7 times 2, that is 14. Plus 6 equals 0. 2 times 4, that is 8. Minus 14 plus 6 equals 0. 8 minus 14, negative 6 plus 6 equals 0. 0 equals 0. Therefore, the solution is...
negative 3 over 2, negative 2. Example number 2. So, 3x squared minus 11x minus 4 is equal to 0. So, solving this by AC method. So, we are going to get the value of A, B, C. So, our A is 3. Our B is negative 11. And our C is negative 4. So, using the AC method, so we have A times C equals 3 times negative 4. And 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. So, negative 12. So, we are getting the factors. We are going to add. And the sum is B, negative 11. So, what are the factors of negative 12 and na pag pinagsama, ang sagot ay negative 11? So, let's have this. Negative 12, tsaka positive 1. Okay. So, negative 12 plus 1 is negative 11. Saan ang galing ang negative 12 at saka 1? So, from our negative 12, ang factors natin ay 1 times negative 12, 2 times negative 6, 3 times negative 4, pwede rin na negative 1 times 12, negative 2 times 6, at negative 3 times 4. Then, we are going to add the factors. At ang hinahanap natin ay negative 11. So, let's have equals 1 plus negative 12, negative 11, negative 4, negative 1, 11, 4, 1. So, aling factors ang ating kukuhanin? Ito. Kaya, naging 12, negative 12, and positive 1. So, how are we going to solve using the AC method? So, let us rewrite the given equation. 3x squared minus 11x minus 4 equals 0. 3x squared, so that is negative 12x plus 1, or x minus 4 equals 0. Okay, then we are going to factor or group. Then what is common to 3x squared and negative 12x? So, our common is 3x. Then, kung i-divide natin ang 3x squared by 3x, that is x minus 4. Plus, we have x minus 4 equals 0. So, wala kasing common. With, uh, common lang dito ay 1. So, ngayon, ilalabas natin yung x minus 4. So, we have x minus 4 times the remaining 3x plus 1 equals 0. Then applying 0 product property, so we have x minus 4 equals 0 and 3x plus 1 equals 0. Then additive inverse, negative 4, that is positive 4, so x Minus 4 plus 4 equals 0 plus 4. So, negative 4 plus 4 is cancel. So, x equals 0 plus 4 is 4. So, x sub 1 is positive 4. Then, for our x sub 2, so, additive inverse of positive 1 is negative 1. So, 3x plus 1 minus 1 equals 0 minus 1. Then, 1 minus 1 that is cancel. So, we have 3x equals negative 1. Divide both sides by 3. Kung anong kasama ni variable, cancel. 
x sub 2 equals negative 1 over 3. Checking. So, 3x squared minus 11x minus 4 is equal to 0. x sub 1 is equal to 4. So, checking if x equals 4. So, we have 3 x squared minus 11x minus 4 equals 0. Let's replace x by 4. So, 3 times 4 minus 11 times 4 squared minus 4 equals 0. So, 3 times 16. So, negative 11 times 4 is negative 44 minus 4 equals 0. 3 times 16, that is 48. Minus 44 minus 4 equals 0. 48 minus 44, that is 4. Minus 4 equals 0. 0 equals 0. Next, if x equals negative 1 third. So, if x equals negative 1 third. So, at our, our original formula, 3x squared minus 11x minus 4 equals 0. So, 3 times negative 1 third squared minus 11 times negative 1 third minus 4 equals 0. Then, 3. Negative times negative is positive, positive. 1 times 1, 1. Over 3 times 3, 9. So, negative 11 times negative 1 third, negative times negative, positive. 11 times 1, that is 11 over 3. Minus 4 equals 0. Okay, then, let's divide or cancel. So, this will become 3. Okay, so we have 1 over 3 plus 11 over 3 minus 4 equals 0. Similar term, fraction. So, 1 plus 11, that is 12 over 3 minus 4 equals 0. 12, min 12 divided by 3, that is 4 minus 4 equals 0. 4 minus 4, 0 equals 0. Therefore, the solution, the solutions are 4 and negative 1 third.